This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back, everyone, to the final recording session of Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, Prosecutor's Path. This might not be the last video in the series, but we're going to finish it up in this recording session. We are at the end of the grand turnabout. Second best case in the whole series, in, I, in my opinion. Oh. And, yeah, we're going to finish up the confrontation with Evil Buster Baxter. I mean, uh, uh Simon, Simon Keys. Keys. Yeah. The truth will be brought to light. Manipulating humans into fighting each other. <laughs> Sounds just like me, right, Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> so you manipulated the body double and John to your will. You seem rather persistent about that, aren't you? Very much so. I'm an animal tamer, after all. And isn't the greatest animal in the world, man? I just tell people the truth in order to help them get revenge. They should all be thanking me! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I'm kind of scared. Steal yourself, Keg. One who sows seeds of revenge as a jest. This is an opponent we must stop at all costs. <laughs> the sins of the past are scary! So, so scary! You'll never see my your retribution coming! I did the same thing to Nightly and Blaze. So you still intend to insist that you were not directly involved to the very end? Right! I never dirtied my own hands. I just like to watch. As they hate and kill each other, never realizing that they were being manipulated all along. <laughs> Spectating from afar, just like you did 12 years ago. You mean the SS5 incident? <laughs> That's so funny! If I remember correctly, all your father's hard work amounted to nothing. Wouldn't you normally call someone like that... incompetent? Ha <laughs> You! Agent Lane, restrain yourself. Damn! Damn! Damn it! We don't know the conclusion your father arrived at. However, we are here now because we chased after his footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little moment. Uh, I don't give a rip and a half, McAfee, that my virus has... <laughs> Why does that my... always come up when we're playing Ace Attorney? I don't know, but it's being annoying. <laughs> Sorry Sorry to interrupt your, your little, little moment. moment. That's McAfee speaking through Simon. But I don't believe that kind of idealism will solve anything. Besides... At any rate, there's no way the body double could have gone for a ride in my balloon. <laughs> I, I One of the things I really like about Simon is just, like, he's the master manipulator, essentially. Yeah. He doesn't really have to do anything himself. That's the only way the double could have gotten off of the tower. Hmm. Well, let's suppose that were the case. Even if I had carried the body double down... What's the problem with that? So you admit it! You did carry the body double! Let's not make a fuss over absurd opinions, Mr. Edgeworth. That's just not like you. You think the body double held me at gunpoint and asked me to go on a sightseeing joyride? There's no way that could have happened. And you know that full well, don't you? It's possible you negotiated with him by using the information about John as a bribe. But he shot at me, remember? There's just no way, no way, no way, no way that we can negotiate. In that case... What if you used sleeping drugs and transported him while he was knocked out? Then allow me to ask, have they detected any traces of sleeping drugs from his body? Ah, it's no good. I can't find any openings, especially when he uses my voice. I'm wondering, like, this is very random. Um, because, you know, there's the whole case, Mr. Dover kills people. Uh, no, no, no Gustavia other way around. Gustavia killed Dover. kills Dover. Children are locked in the car. Where are their mothers? Not in the picture. What? Bo convenient. Both sides? So many times one of the parents is not in the, it, Edgeworth's mom, their mom's Maya's dad, and Pearl's mom. real dad, Pearl's, Pearl's real dad, Pearl's fake dad. <laughs> <laughs> fake dad. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, isn't there something more interesting we should be talking about? <laughs> like what? 
The double was crushed by the monster's head, right? Allow me to propose a question. Was the double really crushed beneath the monster's head? Haha! <laughs> For a genius prosecutor, you sure are quick to withdraw your previous statements. Weren't you the one who deduced that he was crushed by the monster's head to begin with? Indeed, I certainly came to that conclusion once before. However, that was... when we knew of nothing else that was capable of crushing him to death. New? Why the past tense? It's not like there's anything else now, you know. The body double was crushed to death by the monster's head. That's an unshakable fact. Ugh. Is there nothing else? Some decisive evidence that connects this man to the crushed president. How unsightly, Mr. Edgeworth. Why don't you stop this useless struggle? Besides, don't you already know who the culprit is? Remember? And who was that and who was it that caused the monster's head to fall? What if he landed on the president with the balloon? With the balloon? And then, like, took off again? And then the kid, like, came back and was like, Oh no, the monster head- Like, when he took off, he accidentally knocked the monster head. And then it was like, Oh, that works! Or purposely knocked it. Hmm. So that then and when the kid came back, he'd be like, Oh no! Interesting. Certainly, the one who caused the monster's head to fall was John. However... Even John himself admits to that. Well then, doesn't that settle everything? Good job, guys! Case closed! The one who killed the double was John Marsh. And since the police just happened to be here... N no, not yet. There's still room for further investigation. <laughs> Don't force yourself. Well then tell me, what else is there to investigate? And if you can't, I want that kid arrested as soon as possible. He's not- he's, he's a kid. Like, he's not going to prison, bro. No. <laughs> you aren't going to overlook a crime, are you? Am I wrong? Mr. Edgeworth, what do we do? Is there really no hope left? Think. Think. If Mr. Keys killed the double, then the murder could only have occurred when the two met face to face. You just gotta be brain in the fake Arthur opening. <laughs> Every day when, when you're, you're walking, walking down, down the street, street, you stop and think. <laughs> what he had with him at the time must be the real murder weapon. Darn it! Does he intend to play innocent till the very end? The body double's cause of death was rather unique. If he was crushed under the monster's head... Then the killer would be John after all. Isn't there anything else that could have crushed the double? Something else that could have crushed the body double. So you think it was the balloon? I think it was the balloon. What else would it be? Like, seriously. It's a heavy thing. Also, didn't he park his truck nearby? <laughs> he, he, he threw the truck on the body dump. <laughs> no, not that. Like, you have to land near the... <laughs> he pulled a GTA online and drove the car off of the overpass onto the president. <laughs> yeah, exactly. John was not the one who killed the body double. He was crushed by a monster. <laughs> around this isn't like you at all oh i get it since john is supposed to understand the heart of a monster the one who understands the heart of monsters is you not even i have monsters for friends you know hm. stop being so modest didn't you have one very important friend a monster you control at will simon keys you're the one who killed the body double Yes! The lion balloon? A monster made of cloth that expands when filled with hot air. It suits you quite well, wouldn't you agree? Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You've been fixated on your claim that you manipulated John in the body double. Probably because it's an impossible fantasy of yours. After all, even an animal tamer cannot tame the dead. The body double had already been murdered while he was on the roof. And the murder weapon was the balloon you were in. <laughs> I see. Although it floats in the air, that balloon still weighs several hundred pounds. When the double threatened you on the rooftop, you immediately came up with a plan to defend yourself. And that plan was to crush him with your balloon. That worked out pretty well. Whether the body double wanted to get on, or that he was carrying a gun, none of that matters. Because what you carried in your balloon was the body double's corpse. Hold on a second, Mr. Edgeworth. 
You're saying the double was killed on the rooftop two nights ago? Well, that simply doesn't match up with the time of death. What did you say? That's not like you at all, Mr. Edgeworth. Take a good look at the autopsy report. The time of death is around 11 p.m. last night! Nah! L last night? That's right. The very night that Mozilla's head fell. Well, Johnny boy, come on! How about telling us the truth? You killed your father, right? I know the feeling. You hated him, didn't you? Your father who left you all alone forever! You're wrong! I had no idea that guy was my dad! Not this again! Didn't I personally tell you myself? Ah! Was my logic wrong? No. Mr. Edgeworth, allow me to thank you once again. For chasing down Blaze and Patricia and bringing them both to ruin. My revenge was a success all thanks to your logic! If only the time of death matched up, then my logic would fit. Perhaps he did something to throw off the time of death? Maybe he drugged them? No? And what's more, Dane Gustavia, was it? You even took down the culprit of the IS-7 incident! Dane Gustavia and the IS-7 incident. He That's it! Him? Gustavia killed Dover and hid the body in a block of ice. Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to throw off the time of death. If the time of death had coincided with the tea party, Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> it's a shame that I didn't get to witness his destruction. How can you say that? Wasn't Mr. Gustavia your father, Simon? I'm scared. I'm so scared! Miss Roland keeps asking me about that day! Daddy, help me! Why won't you come save me? Is it because I broke my promise with you and didn't eat your sweets? I couldn't care less. My father left me all alone. Even if we share the same blood, that man is not my father! I mean, we definitely know that he's kind of a jerk, where he was mm -hmm. like, I finished the pastry thing and then I went on to train in France. Yes. Ter this game is filled with terrible fathers. I hate to say it, but... Like father, like son. You're the spitting image of him, Simon. The father you hated so much. Huh? What are you talking about? It must have been fate. By sheer coincidence, you just happened to use the exact same method your father did. To throw off the victim's time of death. And we rescued him from the refrigerated oh, yeah. warehouse near the harbor, pal! A refrigerated warehouse? You're saying that I threw off the time of death? How would I have done that? The answer lies in where you hid the body double's body. This was the place you used to hide the body. He was sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't. He was in the warehouse, of course. Throwing off the time of death by freezing the body along with John's kidnapping. Hm. It seems that everything is coming together. The kidnapping? Why are we going back to that? I don't know a thing about it. Don't forget, John was confined in a refrigerated warehouse. That's right. You kept the body double's corpse in that very same warehouse. This kid needs some therapy after this. 18 years ago, your father hid a body in the same way. What? My father? The one who abandoned me? Did the same thing? Who would have guessed that both father and son would use the same method? Objection. Stop it! D don't let me in with that guy! My father, I'm nothing like him! There's not a single connection between us! Objection. You may think so, but even now your bond with Mr. Gustavius still remains. Didn't you say once before, I don't like sweets? That may have come from the shock of losing your father, don't you think? And even back when he said that the first time, you're like, watch that be the most important thing, like, ever. Did I say that? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> You guys have no idea what you're saying! Even if you deny your father, aren't your thoughts and actions the same? 
Particularly, your belief of sacrificing others to protect yourself. It's weird, too, because they look nothing alike. Yeah. And finally, your crimes were brought to light, just as his were. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Warehouse? I mean, I had nothing to do with the kidnapping, after all. <laughs> Fake breakdown. Yeah, I kind of figured. I in was like, it's only been 15 minutes. <laughs> in order to threaten Judge Courtney, it's clear that you partook in the kidnapping. Objection. How scary. Those who get involved with you will be charged with all sorts of crimes. It's kind of true. In the end, there's no evidence. For the instigation and for the kidnapping. None at all. Or what? Are you going to forge some evidence? Just like Blaze and the rest? No, uh, I'll do nothing of the sort. I can't let him provoke me. You always say, I'll pursue the truth no matter what. Right? Ha! <laughs> Don't you mean only the truth that's most convenient to you? After all, that's how the police pull the wool over the eyes of those without power. I like how just the pig squeals. Yeah. And that's why my revenge was necessary. <laughs> None of you can catch me! Not Patricia! Not Blaze! And not even you. Mr. Edgeworth, at this rate, isn't there something, anything we can do? That's the only thing you've said this whole game, Kay. Kay, I like, you were so interesting the first game just because you were weird, and now you're just like- Now she's just kind of Now mad. you're like, you know, um, Katara from Ember Island Players? She <laughs> gives me so, so much hope! <laughs> also, do you like how I gave Gustavia and Simon the same evil laugh. I didn't notice until recently, though. That was intentional. <laughs> Even though all my logic points to this man, I just need evidence. Even a single piece of evidence would suffice. Well, it's been a fun show, but it looks like it's time for the curtains to close. If you'd like, why don't you come and see my next performance? I'll let you, if you admit defeat. <laughs> Is it Gumshoe? Who is it? Who was that? It's Gumshoe. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Edgeworth. I thought he was there with us. Gummy, where'd you go? I was just doing the job that I'm able to do, pal. Detective Gumshoe, your report, please. I did a quick investigation, sir, about the warehouse John was at. That refrigerated warehouse is currently being rented by... The Berry Big Circus, just as Mr. Edgeworth said. <laughs> so it's finally here, our trump card. He'll just be like, it was, it was, um, Regina. Regina. Now then, well done, Detective Gumshoe. Now then, Mr. Keys. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Maybe it has something to do with the circus? I see. Indeed, we are not well informed with the affairs of the circus. In that case, why don't we get to your boss's opinion on this? Regina. Uh -huh. We're renting a refrigerated warehouse to store the animals' food, but I don't know much about the place. After all, I let Simon handle everything. Ah, get curse you! Ah, si Simon, how scary! What a shame. It seems your desperate actions after the crime were in vain. At least Regina is not trying to defend him. Yeah. If the body was found in the warehouse, suspicion would have fallen on you, the one in charge. That's why you specifically moved the body back to the Grand Tower, wasn't it? <laughs> However, us finding John confined at the warehouse was a fatal mistake on your part. Our resident great thief and detective are both rather exemplary. Is, is, was John holding a piece of cheese? It was a cell phone. It was the biggest cell phone I've ever seen! This was back in 2011. No, like, he was walking, like, Kay's like, yeah, we're on the phone. Yeah, like, like yeah, yeah, we're, we're on, on the phone. phone. Like, uh, I'm on the phone. I'm <laughs> on the John cheese. Marsh, John Marsh is carrying something, like, legitimately this big. You no can't one can see, see how big but, that is. But it's, like, a head and a half size. Like, no phone is a brick. Maybe it was perspective. I'd have to go back to, what's wrong? I can even Maybe tell through your face paint that you're looking pale. <laughs> it's not over yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Really? Your logic is missing the most important piece of evidence. 
Oh, please do tell. Isn't it obvious? Evidence that I killed the body double with the balloon. You can't present it, can you? After all, there's no way such evidence could possibly exist. Just gonna say, when we originally put the balloon, like when we looked at it, bullet hole at the bottom. Okay, so the president mm -hmm. shot the bullet up. Problem number two, there was blood on that thing. There was, was blood there? on the center, blood, blood on the ground, the, the great big puddle of all. Yes, I'm pretty uh, sure. There, I don't think there was blood. No. It was red. There was no blood from the president because he got crushed to death. Yeah, but it was, maybe that was gunpowder residue? It no. was red at the bottom of the basket. I'm pretty sure that's not... Let, can we look at the balloon again? Uh, can we uh, look at the balloon, balloon again? again? <laughs> Turn it. Inside or at the bottom? The bottom. If you zoom in real close... See, like, what's that stain? Oh, good point. You see that? There's some crap on there. I don't know, maybe... Good like, eye. Maybe the president was eating, like... Mustard. Khaki gory, and then, like, it got smushed. I don't know what that is. That's uh, shade does. Oh, the evidence... It exists. What did you say? If Mr. Keys murdered the victim, traces of the murder should still remain here. At the bottom of That's the, the main, the one main complaint I have with this conversation, it's like the literally the only complaint is basically it's just present balloon, present balloon, present, present balloon, balloon, present balloon. <laughs> it should become clear once we examine the basket of this balloon. Oh, oh, I just realized there's a, there's a big old gorilla in the background. There is indeed. I did not notice it. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon again? Didn't you already find the bullet hole? There's no way you'll find anything else there. The, gr the gorilla it. is Harambe. <laughs> Look, it, it looks like he's got his arm through the birdcage. That's true. <laughs> and that's what I thought. That uh, It'll be fine. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth is a hero who always finds the truth no matter what he's up against. That's right, pal. Of course it's going to be fine. And Mr. Edgeworth has gotten out of more impossible situations than I can count. Miles, I believe in you too. But more importantly, I'm sure your old man watching over you believes in you as well. I really liked your Gregory Edgeworth voice. Thanks. Miles Edgeworth, calm down and think. You're just one step away from the perfect proof. The body double was killed by this balloon. The proof lies in the traces left on the basket. Yes! Simon Keyes, it's time for you to atone for your crimes. I'll see it with my own eyes. The moment this past case is settled once and for all. Please, Prosecutor Edgeworth, deliver the final blow to this unforgivable person. This is the final piece of evidence that proves your crimes. What traces were left on the balloon that crushed the victim? Did I find them? Pretty sure I did. It's a different piece of evidence than the balloon, though. Oh, what traces were left on the balloon that crushed the villain? The crush, the body double. Oh, was it the stupid flowers? I, I thought it was blood, man. When John found the body, a bouquet of lion lilies was there as well. Lion lilies? The flowers from Zane Fa that represent the bond between parent and child? Yeah, yeah, shut up. That's your evidence? Surely they must be buried under a mound of garbage by now. Moreover, the one who threw it away was John himself. That's not much of a bond now, is it? Ugh, the language of flower stuff has nothing to do with this! Calm down, John. Certainly, you may have thrown the flowers away. However, I believe those emotions remain as strong as ever. Yeah, this is the president's theme song. Those bonds will surely protect you from that man, in the form of my final piece of evidence. What the heck are you talking about? Those flowers were crushed. Ergo, they must have come into contact with the murder weapon. Perhaps we'll find the very same pollen still stuck to the basket of your balloon. No way, no way, no way, no way! You guys examined the basket just a few moments ago. If there had been any yellow pollen stuck on there, wouldn't you have noticed it then? Mr. Keys, evidence is not restricted to what you can see with the naked eye. What? Emma? Yes! Would you perform one more scientific investigation for us? I'll do it for some snackoos. <laughs> Leave it to me. The balloon's basket, right? <gasps> a reaction! They can test for pollen? This is clearly pollen from a yellow flower. We'll find out soon enough whether or not it's from the same flower. What? <laughs> I'd say this proves that. 
The body double's death was caused directly by your own hand. No way! That's... That can't be! I... You crushed the body double to death on the roof of the tower. Then, you retrieved the body and hid it in the warehouse. Why didn't the body double move? I feel like a balloon doesn't sink that quickly. It's like, oh, gotta get it adjusted and... <laughs> like, like, did he seriously not move out of the way? Like, Too a... fat. <laughs> he has none of the muscle after all. Oh. <laughs> Too many. He was like, wait, this, oh man, that's a cool balloon. Tim tries to take a photo of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he have to go to the trouble of retrieving the body? Keep in mind, Simon was trying to land on the roof before he even saw the body double, so he would have already been descending at the time. He would have been, but I don't think it would have been easy He's enough just to like, just guess we're like... aiming for this guy now? <laughs> yeah. Two nights ago, he knew that a separate incident would occur at the tower. <gasps> Miss Crane's... Precisely. Leaving the body there would have disrupted his plans. I see. But even so, he couldn't leave the body in the circus warehouse either. Exactly. So the next day, when he was bringing the body back to the tower once again, he saw the small fire John started, which caused the Muzilla's head to fall. Was that when the idea came to you? Your plan to pin the crime on John? Gah! You made it look like the murder weapon was the fallen head. Such foul, cowardly behavior! For that reason, you carried the double's body in the balloon and lowered it into the film lot. At that time, the figure of the body double being lowered down by a rope was captured in John's video recording. D damn it, it was all- YOU SAW THROUGH IT ALL?! DAMN IT! DAMN YOU! You manipulated animals, you manipulated people, and you manipulated cases. Almost as if you were a king. However, it's now all come to an end. Simon, the animals have gotten angry. Even money and estate. You never thought of them as your friends at all. How sad. D damn it! Don't you look at me with those eyes! Hm. It's about time you went back to being a mere clown. A fitting end to your pitiful jester's act. Uh, uh, stay away! Get away from me! Stop it! Please stop it! Daddy, help me! Are we literally- I'm scared! I'm so scared! I don't know anything! I didn't do anything bad! They were the bad ones, weren't they? Horace, why? Why did you stop me? If you hadn't done that, I... I couldn't even trust the police! Nobody would help me! But that man, back then, he saved me. The only one who helped me was Dogen. So I used everyone else. What's wrong with that? S stop it! Don't come any closer! Stop! There we are! There we die! Die! Not you! Please! No more! Are we just about to watch him get beat up by animals? That is exactly what we were about to watch. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> it seems the game is finally over. Oh yeah, I was forgot about him. How did you fit in all this? Shelly the Killer! Mr. Edgeworth, I must thank you. You have exposed the true identity of the mastermind. Now, I am free to... What?! Drawing a gun would be most inadvisable. Stay where you are and do not move. <laughs> I don't have a gun. Bro, 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 we gotta look at this entire scene. <laughs> like, can, like, where is Lotta? Um, Lotta booked it out of there as soon as the assassin it out of there. showed up. Okay, like, le <laughs> Uncle Ray's near Uncle the Ray's cheap like, girl. Uncle Ray's like, ooh, hands up. Like, Emma is frighteningly close to him. And then, like, John's like, oh man, this is not good. Lang's just kind of chuckling, and Francisca's no, like- No, Lang is like huffing and puffing like and then, a big bad wolf. Yeah, I was about to say, Francisca's like, how <laughs> dare you go close to him without having you spy with Come, come, she's like, duh! Uh. You do have a gun, do you not? You intended to draw and fire it without anyone noticing. He must have taken it from the body double when he killed him. This man has betrayed his bond of trust with me. He would have me kill the president while he knowing full well that he was the body double. 
Lying about a target is an extremely dangerous thing to do to an assassin. Why is Shelly Not having the killer? all the cards on the table can seriously jeopardize an assassination. Why is Shelly the killer assumed to be one of my favorite characters? <laughs> He's great. Okay, and also going back to the first case... You pick up on so much more. So, like, the reason uh, that Shelly the killer learns that he's not the real president. He's like, I've seen the truth, like, uh, the truth behind the case is when he's basically like, President, if you don't come out, I'm killing your bodyguard. And he knew that the original president was very honorable and, like, would have come out. And because the new president didn't, he's like, that's not the real president. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, apparently Simon Keys is loaded because he was able to hire Shelly the killer to kill the body double. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be the case. Although, he's probably manipulated many, many, many other people. Or oh, maybe, yeah. Or maybe he, like, stole money from Regina's, like, piggy circus, bank. <laughs> circus piggy bank. <laughs> However, what is even more unforgivable is your deception and your attempt to manipulate me. The time has come for your retribution. Stop! No, that's that's definitely gonna happen. Dugan. What?! Why is there an assassin on an assassin <laughs> on a person? You, you are. It has been far too long, Shelly. They've been hanging out. Please step aside. That man is my prey. I must ask you to spare his life. Please permit this young acolyte to retrieve his proper punishment in prison. I meant to say receive. Don't don't dwell on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> this is the weirdest scene. And if I refuse? His is the first life I have saved. I will not allow it to be taken away so easily. You saved a life. The assassin Sirhan Dogen. <laughs> Iro it's ironic, is it not? <laughs> that I, the one who has taken countless lives, am making a plea for this young one's life. He saved my life, just as I have saved his. Before I knew it, I grew quite fond of the lad. You may laugh at me as much as you wish. However, I must ask that you spare the life of the boy. <laughs> the boy! <laughs> no, no! You shall die! <laughs> what are you... <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, the Palpatine voice is not even how I picture him to talk, but it works so well. It does, and all... <laughs> like, I pictured him actually having kind of a higher-pitched voice. Like, hello, Shelly. Yeah, like, but then he sounds like a pirate. Yar, Yar you me got party. me. <laughs> but look at Simon's face. Simon's like, oh, what's about to happen? <laughs> I kind of don't know how I want this to end, but I guess this is going to happen regardless. <laughs> From one assassin to another. Please make this allowance. Assassin stand up, this is a cool part. I understand. If you are willing to go that far. Maybe we won't kill in front of everybody. You have my thanks. I am in your debt. Simon just runs off. No need for thanks. I simply felt that there would be no merit in a fight to the death with you. That is all. And with that, I must take my leave. Deku nut. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Damn it! Wait! Lane goes single-handedly after him. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I must thank you as well. It was... Why are no, you I'm doing... Your, I'm your dog. Oh. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Marty was just, like, oh, stretching her arms out towards me, but she's like, I take the dog. It was necessary for this young acolyte to be put in his place. And that you have done. <laughs> now, then, it's time for me to return to my humble cage surrounded by iron bars. Right, Anubis. Right, boy. Oh, look who's here. Hey, priest guy. You killed my dad, right? Indeed. I am the not one to forget those who I have slain. <laughs> I see. You must despise me, boy with horns. In that case. Ugh! John! Do not panic. I simply lent the boy with horns my knife. Take that knife. <laughs> Take your Jedi weapon. Do it. <laughs> I am unarmed. And run it through my throat. A single stab should do it. What the heck is I've, happening? I've long grown weary of my wooden carvings. <laughs> the dog will literally attack him. Revenge. 
J John, don't do it! John, please, I beg of you! She stabs him. Till just now, I'd intended to seek revenge. No matter how many years it took! Revenge? Revenge is good. Really good. All your pain and suffering slips away. Everything becomes numb, and you'll feel nothing. Yeah, you may be right. I thought about that while I listened to you. What you had to say. John! But the only one who would be satisfied with revenge would be myself, right? If I became a murderer, my mom would go through even more pain and suffering. My friends from the movie, too. All those people who care about me as well. <laughs> the boy with horns says some interesting things. That's right. I finally get it now. I'll never forgive you, but I'm not the one who should punish you. After all, isn't that what my mom and that prosecutor guy are here for? John. John! You just said some really profound stuff just now. Yeah, I'm way more profound than anything Kay would say. Kay, perhaps you should study up a little more yourself. Is that so? Well then, young one, it is time for us to depart. W where to? To prison, of course. That place will be our home. Our home? Maybe it's a good thing that he's going with them, but... Yeah. Mm. Because I'll be... That's a great ending, honestly, for Simon, because all things considered, like, yeah, he's kind of a butt, but Simon is, like, a one of the most sympathetic killers victim, of them all. Much of a victim. Yeah. Okay. Like, he had one of the worst childhoods. Like, no mom, his dad completely abandoned him. He thought his dad kill, was killed. Went to an orphanage that was really, really terrible. He almost died because his best friend tied him up. Mm -hmm. He basically got, like, abused by the orphanage owner. Was yep. constantly being hunted down by Blaze and all of the police. And yeah, no wonder he didn't trust anybody. No, it, yeah. And he, and he basically like saw like, with Blaze here, like, the law is completely corrupt. And mm -hmm. Blaze, like, the more you study Blaze, the more it's like, he probably had a hand in the smuggling ring of the last game. Because uh -huh. like, his black market auction was selling all of these smuggled items. Yeah. It's also possible that like, he was the one basically responsible for a lot of the corruption. It, like, Red White or Damon Gant as well. Yeah. It's... It's one of those where it's like, you're really mad that all of this happens. And, mm -hmm. like, you're mad that Simon Keys did what he did. But at the same time, you're like, I don't know how else we would have caught Blaze. Exactly. I don't know how else we would have caught Patricia. Right. So, and so, like, even though Simon got caught, like, Simon won. He did. Because, like, mm -hmm. all of his plans for revenge, like, and the people we wanted to bring down happened. And now he basically, he goes to jail, yeah, but he's with, like, the one person he actually He likes. actually cares about. Yeah, so I think that's, like, a really good ending, actually. I think it's a good ending for him. And with that, the case that involved and affected so many people came to a close. However, there was still one last thing I had to do. Perform in the circus for Simon, because he's not in the circus anymore! No, they have putt-putt. April 8th, 2.54pm, Grand Tower, Pain in Charge meeting room! I still wish it was Pain in Charge. That was one of my favorite parts. Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting. Why'd you call Uncle Ray and the rest of us out here? Is he gonna be a prosecutor, or is he gonna be a defense attorney? Mr. Edgeworth, the formal proceedings have just come to a close. Hmm? What are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. This is your prosecutor's badge? Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. I am no longer a prosecutor. In order to save me when I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, The only ally a defendant has is their attorney. By trusting in their client, an attorney draws closer to the truth. The sight of that man still shines brilliantly in my eyes. Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. Gregory. However, this is nothing more than that man in my father's way of life. It is not mine. Mr. Edgeworth. I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. Okay. I mean, the game is called Prosecutor's Path, not Defense Attorney's Path. Well, so. Prosecutor's Path could be dropping prosecuting right. for the sake of his mm -hmm. path. I see. So you've made your decision. I'm sorry. No, no, I understand. 
That's your answer, isn't it? It is. Okay, <laughs> then that's the end of the conversation. Don't regret it. Even if you beg me later, I won't let you work for me ever again. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but you know, Miles, mind if I ask why you chose to live as a prosecutor? Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. It's because I like to wear red instead of blue, and red is the color of enemies. <laughs> to fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How should I live my life? And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. As a prosecutor? Simon Keyes, he too was a victim. Well, yeah. We definitely talked about that already. He lost a parent in a past murder, and with it the ability to believe in anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you, and being unable to believe in anything. I doubted everything during my lonely battles in those days. <coughs> All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. The one who saved me was... It doesn't show up? Nope. <laughs> Mr. Keyes must have been all alone. Unable to find salvation from the law, he had no choice but to turn his hand to revenge. The DS didn't have enough uh, capabilities to add in one sprite of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> they didn't have enough sprites to add in Blaze without his hair having multiple sprites. They didn't have enough sprites to have clown Simon before his transformation to have anything other than the smile, even when he's like, please believe me! He's just like, please believe me! Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is kind of weird. <laughs> and I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police. No way, no way, no way! As long as Blaze was around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Actually, didn't something like that almost happen today during Patricia's trial? I want to save those like Simon Keys. So, how would you save him? I'm sure this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have relied on the courts. But instead, he was cornered by Blaze de Best, who used the power of law for evil. The form of law can change depending on who wields it. It can be at once a shield to protect and a blade to harm. That too is a contradiction of the law. A contradiction, huh? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. Yeah, this is going back to, like, the statute of limitations. Mm -hmm. The only way to right those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved Simon Keyes was not an attorney. But rather, a watchman of the law. A prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. Yeah, good on you. I see. That's just like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't just be a walk in the park. You'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? I do. However, someone must. Yep, yep. Uncle Ray believes in you too. The law evolves and grows just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're Gregory's son. Your old man would never give up, no matter what. His eyes always saw only what laid straight ahead. Miles, when you chose to live as a prosecutor, your eyes looked just like your father's. Looks like you've grown up a bit. I really wish your old man could see you now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. I, Justine Courtney, as a member of the PIC, do hereby return to Miles Edgeworth the rights and privileges of a prosecutor in the name of the goddess of law. Prosecutor's badge data jotted down in my words. Just the data. You didn't actually get it back. You just remembered it. <laughs> Maybe it's like uh, when you get your, uh, what is it, your diploma? But you don't <laughs> have the actual the diploma. You just get the case. 
Oh, I love the victory music. And with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth is revived! Actually, I love every song in this game. Every song is amazing. It's pretty good, yeah. That's great, sir! So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, it's time for Uncle Ray to make his exit. I have to report to your old man about all about the traitor from the Edgeworth family. <laughs> Thank you for everything, truly. The next time we meet, just might be in the courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. Ray for Rayman Shields, Ace Attorney. <laughs> I would play that. <laughs> Uncle Ray may not look it, but he's an Ace Attorney after all. <laughs> I'll look forward to seeing the attorney my father trained in action. Later. Take care. And we never saw him again. <laughs> Maybe. Well, he may be in the 3DS version, but we will never know unless we play That would be games. interesting because they never ported this game, so how would they expect the American people to know who he is? Remember this guy from the- it's Oh, like, oh, I'm not Raymond Shields. That's just my fan name. My real my name, name is- My is, is Jay, uh, Jay Sword. <laughs> <laughs> my real name is Takafumi Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, welcome back. Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me. You sought to fix the corruption within the PIC from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not. For I was never alone. Because the goddess of law is always by your side, right? You made me realize that one could fight in such a way. She also probably had Jill Crane, who seems she like she was Jill at least and I, I know mean, Sebastian's kind of an idiot. He's not on son. the PIC. And yeah, she had her son as well. And I mean, I don't know. And Pain! Pain was obviously in the PIC. What, wait, when when, when the, all the PIC members were going to talking, I gave one of them Pain's voice. <laughs> I, do, I do remember you did that. The prosecutor's office. No, the entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, then there is a truth that will never see the light of day. It was only through your help that I was able to find this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I too find that promising, as one, sir, as one in the service of the goddess of law. You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameful acts during the trial two days ago. Next time I shall fulfill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor? I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, the greatest judge I know is one overflowing with humanity. Even during a trial, that judge experiences happiness, anger, sadness, and joy. But nevertheless, always hands down the correct verdict in the end. I wonder which judge he's talking about. <laughs> Canada, obviously. Definitely not. It's definitely not Owen Wilson judge. <laughs> Owen Wilson judge. There's like the normal judge that just sounds like an old man. And then there's like... Owen Wilson judge Owen and then Wilson there's Courtney. Judge. I would love to see Courtney as a judge in a future game as well. Yeah. That would be great. She's got a kick butt theme song. She does. Oh, I know him. He's my dad. What? <laughs> it's difficult to say. But sometimes I feel that perfection is not always correct. That's what Von Karma taught us. <laughs> Von Karma I can't go through the stairs. I have to use the elevator. Von Karma always turns into Bowser eventually. Bowser is like this, Mario. Von Karma is deeper and out of breath. Oh, oh I think we... that, That's getting into Cookie Monster a bit. It is a little bit. Oh, I love the cookies so much. <laughs> also, Judge Courtney's hair would be impossible to cosplay. I mean... Uh, so what you'd have to do is have really long hair, double braid it, like. Or, or no, what you would do is there are headbands you get that look like braids. Mm -hmm. You put those in. Uh, you put your hair in a wig cap, and then you curl, get lightning bolt curl hair. one strand of this hair because that's a curl. Then you They're both leave, shaped like lightning leave bolts. most of this hair straight, and then curl it like crimp it. <laughs> crimp it, yeah. Crimp your hair, and then it'll become a lightning bolt. So, as a judge, too, has the right to behave in such a manner. Thank you very much, Prosecutor Edgeworth. When I pursued and fought against the... B against THE Blaze de Best, the Goddess of Law was not the only one by my side. Up and coming, 
genius child actor John Marsh. Yeah. Something, something, something. Uh, John Beck is <laughs> asked your young. Uh, Popular two, Berg. Something, uh, Roseville Orange. The 282928. Great poster. Wow. Amazing. We, oh, lo we love this poster. It's John. When I have this cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. I mean, how could you not have courage? It's a dude wearing like a cow, mm -hmm. cow ears, cow backpack chain, red cow sweatshirt. Like, mm -hmm. if that doesn't inspire people, I don't know what does. You're styling. No matter how painful things became, no matter how strong the foe, when I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Wrongs must be put right, for John's sake as well. John, too, lost his father in a past crime. Can you shut up, though, because I want to get to the credits? That is the most important, that is more important to me than even the words of the goddess of law. How dare you? The statue's right there! You're... You're angering the goddess of law. Uh, no, I'm sure the goddess would be angered by those words. Heh. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I don't have to be perfect. I just want to grow little by little. Sebastian's also basically your son at this point yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, you need to have Sebastian over for family Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, the governor said we can't. <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> that dates the video that recording. That dates the video pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> then screw that, we're having dinner anyway. Yeah. Both as a judge and as a mother, that is how I feel. <laughs> it seems there is much each of us has yet to learn. Agreed. We are still but children before the world. Let us grow in our respective paths until we meet again. I shall look forward to that reunion. We'll, we'll have a reunion and we'll have hamburgers and hot dogs at the park. <laughs> and it will be a joyous occasion. Bring Phoenix right. Bring Phoenix right and, uh, uh, cake. It's a cake. <laughs> May the blessings of the goddess of law be upon you as you follow your new path. Bye. Bye, Courtney. Bye, Courtney. I, I hated you at first, but now I love you. Actually, I always liked Courtney just because of her boss Zelda. theme song. Bye, Zelda. I thought the game broke. <laughs> Though I once lost my position as prosecutor, I have now reclaimed it. So that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely reach the truth waiting at the end of this path. No matter how difficult the path may be. If any seek to stop me on my path, they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be, I shall shout just one word. <laughs> Always. Da -da 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 People who plan are amazing. We're starting with her? Well, she was the first main witness that we encountered. All right. Chief, what sort of scoop are you aiming for next? Hey, ain't you a journalist? There ain't nothing more important than information. You may be my apprentice, but you're still my business rival. I ain't gonna tell you everything. Th that's my mentor, all right. I reckon you're even more prepared than me. I understand. I'll get my information using my own two feet. Yeah, that's the spirit. By the way, would you mind me asking what sort of scoop you're aiming for next? Huh? G Chief, ain't no need to be stingy. I'm your mentor after all. Th that's just anus. Yeah, those two. <laughs> Did you get a scoop and everything's all green and woo? Like, that's, that's the entire... It's gonna be gummy. Nope. It's going to be John Doe. It seems that the wound on my left arm has yet to heal. The bodyguard who inflicted this wound upon me. His is a name I will never forget. Now then, shall I return to being a simple ice cream salesman? Perhaps this time I should try being a crepe salesman instead. More like a creep salesman. For now, I shall live a calm life until my services are required once more. He still didn't get caught. He didn't get caught into. Oh, that's the, the joke, second. though. He's the kill. He's the one killer who has not been caught. Rough, rough. I might have been knocked out once by that prosecutor named Edgeworth. Oh, he is a polar bear. But I'll keep on trying to escape. I won't let him dampen my fighting spirit. 
Ain't that right, Rocky? Not a kangaroo. The game, that gong that'll sound off next, my next escape will rain out soon enough. Until then, let's keep working out. I forgot about him. Thank you, Miho Mori, for illustrating. Are we voicing a guard, or are we voicing... This is who I thought was going to be the mastermind. Are you inquiring into my studies to become a pet groomer? I am working as hard as ever, so I spend every day covered in mud. It's Simon Keys. Perhaps this suits my true nature far better than the life of a newspaper salesman. Once I leave the prison, I hope to earn an honest wage as a pet trimmer. Huh? M my sentence has been extended because I was Warden Roland's accomplice? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, ah! Why do you think I've been giving a rat's ass about these stupid animals' well-being? To hell with the pet trimmer's license! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to be mastermind, honestly. That also would have been a fun twist. That, was that would have not have made anywhere near as much sense, though. Thank you for directing the sound, Hiroshi Horiguchi. Uh, this Frank Sod's voice is like more flamboyant than Simon's voice. Yeah. Regina was really shocked by the truth about Simon, too. I mean, I trusted him as my subordinate. But there's no use fretting over it. The show must go on. I have to do my best so that I won't lose to the magic or ventriloquist divisions. I'll put on the greatest performance ever! One that'll blow away the entire case! Who would have thought the circus would be so important to this game? This the, the circus! <laughs> Shirohito! Yeah! It's Dogen. Dogen. I like his dog. It seems I have grown soft in my old age. Right, Anubis? Right, boy. <laughs> Anubis the second. To think the life I saved on a whim 18 years ago would drive me to such lengths. Thanks to that, I am confined to my humble cell once again. Well, this time that child is here as well. Perhaps it won't be such a bore, right, boy? Well, they can play checkers together. Chess. chess. I could use my dog, piece. Ooh, ooh. Who's next? Oh, shoot. I forgot about her. <laughs> uh. Today's dessert is chocolate cake. The gently melting moment of allure. I will wait for you forever, Kate. I shall come here every day just as you and Raymond did for me. Monsieur Shields, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I am truly grateful to them. I cannot believe I am able to eat your desserts once more, Monsieur Master. <laughs> I have been allowed to distribute my treats in both the detention center and the prison. For the past 18 years, I've brought joy to one and all of my delicious sweets. Aw, oh, he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, seriously. He's he's one of those tragic characters. Ooh, two in the people whole worked on the trailers. That's it. Two people. Oh no. Oh crap. I forgot. Yesy! Thanks for everything, boys. Of course, I owe Greggy my thanks too. After all, I get to stuff myself with Jeffy's delicious desserts once again. Oh wait, next time maybe I'll use one of Jeffy's sweets to create a new drug. The Chuck in Diet. You tuck in your stomach while you tuck in your desserts. It'll be delicious and slimming, and also good for your health. Delicia. What Delisha. a character. Showcase Fujita. Fujita. Oh my gosh, Larry Butts, I forgot he was in this game. Yeah. Man, I'm glad I got to meet and sketch so many beauties. <laughs> The end better be But Mandy caught a glimpse of my beauty sketch. She had a misunderstanding and clobbered me in the face of my sketchbook. So in exchange for my sketch of beauties, I had one beauty walk out on me. Maybe it's time for me to start getting more serious about my life. Do I take the path of an artist or do I follow the path of my heart? Oh, and by heart, I mean the heart of my new lady. <laughs> I Man, swear. Larry's got the babes. Like, he, he has no problem getting new girlfriends. I need to see an image of all the beauties at the end. Oh, Detective Bad. No, he had his beauty sketch earlier. It's the one but of the, the finished of the one. girls. Mr. Bad, thanks for all your help today. Hm. I'll testify about the IS-7 incident as much as you need me to. Prosecutor Edgeworth seems pretty active, too. He chose not to take the same path as Gregory, but rather to live as a prosecutor. Well, I am kind of sad that I won't get to work with him, but I'll continue to watch over him. <laughs> it looks like 
looks like you've grown up quite a bit yourself. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mr. Bad actually praised me. <laughs> if you ever need a hand from Attorney Raymond Shields, give me a call anytime, anyplace. Unofficial English fan translation, but good enough to be official. Yep. 100%. Oh, ooh. My crimes were punished far more leniently than expected. Once it was proven that I had been threatened. Ow! No crime is more heavy or light than any other. I'm sorry. Of course I regret what I did. However... I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Granny. Huh? You want to hurry back to work? <laughs> That's right. The next corpse is waiting for us, after all. They were weird. They were weird. Also, that's exactly Thank you, what... translation team. Woo! Thank you! I'm glad that my scientific investigation came in handy this time around as well. Good thing I rushed back here all the way from Europe. And now, I have to leave again. That kind of takes the fire out of a girl, as you can imagine. <laughs> oh. But this is all so that I can become an actual forensic scientist. So then, I guess it's time to go. Uh, if anything comes up, be sure to call me right away. The second I get the word, I'll dash right over. Poor Emma, because she doesn't get to beat that. Oh, localization! She yeah! Thank Notice you. how they all have weird usernames instead of like actual names. Joom and Jambi. Hey, hey, we, we <laughs> Thank appreciate you all them. Of you. Thank you all of you. Francisca! <laughs> with her belt. With her with curtsy. Her the greater the father, the greater the expectations are for their children. Prosecutor de Best, was it? His way of life shall be tested henceforth. Just as mine was. Miles Edgeworth chose to live a different life from his father as a prosecutor. I suppose that too is an answer. My head cannon is that gamer and rolling My head cannon is that Edgeworth took on Sebastian as an apprentice after this. Oh, I thought it would be Francisca. Or that I feel like Edgeworth would do a better job. Oh, growl. I could never have imagined the truth that my old man was hiding. Unlike me, who only fought about the Lane Clan. My old man was trying to protect an entire nation. But I swear to you all that I will carry on his will. Yes, she do! Even if the president was a fake, and the real one was murdered. I swear that I, together with my men, shall revive Zane Fa. Someday, I will surely show you all a Zane Fa brimming with life. I'm running for the new president. I was about to say, we need Vote to get a new me. president sat. Look at all these Ooh, people's look at all faces. These... Woo wee yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> the last two were a little gross. No! Oh! Han ominous. Is Blaze talking? I've asked everyone to stop calling me the best. I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm just borrowing Pops' power. I shall study even harder than before and triumph over Pops. Wow. I'll become strong enough so that I won't lose even to Mr. Edgeworth. Now then, let's start by thinking up my new nickname. <laughs> Still got a long way to go. <laughs> Safety Se first. Sebastian's definitely one of those characters that really grows on you. Oh, Penny. A lot has happened, but thankfully the film was a roaring success. The gossip articles about the murder made our movie the talk of the country. A monstrous man appears from the mighty Mozilla. This is the true face of the monster who murdered the president of Zane Fa. Uh, isn't that you in the photo, Mr. Powers? Huh? How could something like this happen? Now, now, it's fine, isn't it? It's thanks to those articles that our film is a big hit. <sighs> Much obliged. Ah, poor Donkey Kong. <laughs> poor Donkey Kong. Testing and debugging. Thank Rolling you. ball. Rolling Ball did so much, and so did Chalky. Chalky? Chalky Milk? <laughs> yup. John, I greatly enjoyed watching your movie. Uh, it's no big deal. It's not like I had a major role or anything. You were the main character. What are you saying? You played the key character who connects Mozilla and Gordy. 
There is no one else besides you who could have played the part. It, yeah, I guess. Well, it would be nice if there was a sequel. I, I really enjoyed working as an actor. Mom, before we head home, can we go buy something? I like to decorate our home with a lion lily for Dad. Then one will not suffice. You will need two more. One for me, and one for Amy. Aww. Thank you to all the supporters and for Capcom for making this game. Thank you. That is a masterpiece of a game. Oh, oh, ending. Oh, yeah. King of Prosecutors. Best part. April 8th, 4.17 p.m. High Prosecutor's Offices. Does, room 1202. Does Edgeworth's best suit still have, like, bullet holes in it or something? It's not, it, the suit itself didn't get shot. It was just part of it. Okay. Got shot by Basketball Boy. Basketball. Basketball. <laughs> basketball. That was, my, one of, that was one of my favorite things that came out of that case. That case sucked, honestly, yeah. except for that and the chicken dance. Yeah. <laughs> wow! We were really busy with all those cases, weren't we, sir? Indeed, we were. Why did all those incidents happen in such quick succession? Right after the last game, which also had a bunch of incidents that happened with good yeah. quick succession. <laughs> I feel like things are always busy whenever I'm around. Wait, Kay, wouldn't that mean that you're a magnet for crimes? <gasps> hey, Gummy, that was rude. I do get the impression that he's not entirely wrong. So then, Kay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Mm, I don't know. Huh? Is something on your mind, pal? How should I put it? Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that I could become a great thief, just like him. Like the previous Yadagarasu, I suppose. But watching you, Mr. Edgeworth, made me think. Maybe instead of chasing after my father, I should find my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defense attorney either. Chasing after a parent's shadow isn't the only path in life for a child, after all. I'm gonna aim to become a hero in my own way! I'm gonna go to college. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Maybe don't do that unless you want to go into STEM. <laughs> Maybe. That sounds good. But of course, that doesn't mean I'm gonna throw away the name of the great thief Yadakarasu. No matter what sort of hero you become, K will always still be K. Thanks, Gummy! And Gummy will always be Gummy! Of course, pal! I plan to keep pushing forward on my own path of a detective, after all. Mr. Edgeworth, I look forward to continuing to work with you, sir. Yes, I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective, you saved me many times during these past cases. You have my gratitude. I suggest that you look forward to your next salary assessment. Huh? What? D does that mean what I think it means? What's wrong? I'm saying that your salary ought to be raised. R really sir? I can't believe it! Isn't that great, Gummy? It's like a dream come true! I can finally say goodbye to my instant noodle lifestyle! However, that doesn't mean you can start slacking off. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare yourself. Yes sir! Roger that! I'll devote my body and soul to following after you, Mr. Edgeworth! Yep. What better way to end the game than Gumshoe finally getting his salary raised? Brings a tear to my eye. Well, I mean, the better thing would be they actually go get noodles. <laughs> yes. Like every other El Dune's day. noodles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the path Mr. Shields and Judge Courtney taught me is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law. Isn't that pain? That's, in the that's film. supposed to be Blaze with Are his goggles. Are you sure that isn't pain? Or that one? One I of think, them could be I pain. I think that one is pain. One of them could be pain, but he wasn't the leader. It was Blaze. One of my missions is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law. And to reach the truth at the end of that road. <sighs> Have to yawn. What am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Well, jeez, I'm the same. Certainly, this path will not be easy. However... Prosecutor Edgeworth, we just had this flashback! Why are we talking about this again?! That was before the credits! Hip, hip. When I pursued and fought against Blaze de Best, the goddess of law was not the only one by my side. Yup. Ah, it's John! When I have this cutout with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. Can you shut up, Courtney? When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Heh. 
Your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. You know, the way to move forward is to not flash back. Bonds, huh? Ah! Oh, I completely forgot! Th that was sudden! What's wrong? I was searching for members for the new Yadagarasu team! Should have asked Emma. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I do remember you saying something to that effect. But in the end, I wasn't even able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team combined their powers in order to steal the truth? I wanted to create an invincible team like that, but... That sounds eerily similar to what Simon Keys was doing. Yep. <laughs> what she are you... gotten Simon. <laughs> she was only looking for cute girls. Simon could pass as a girl. That hair... He could. Especially, if, so especially if he works on his voice. <laughs> and especially if he's wearing, like... Clown makeup. Clown makeup and stuff, yeah. What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? Together, the three of us can solve any case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right! Kay did nothing. A prosecutor, a detective, and a great thief. We're the invincible trio of heroes that steals, captures, and pursues the truth! Kay did nothing this game, except Kay in case did four. nothing! Hearing that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. Kay got captured. As long as the three of us are together, there's nothing to fear! Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Kay had amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are correct. <laughs> Kay just existed. <laughs> <laughs> Even until his last moments, my father ran along his own path. I, too, shall advance along mine. No, I know what Kay did after this. Accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. Comrade Edsworth. <laughs> as long as they are by my side, I can walk forward without hesitation. On this new path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys. The path I walk is not my father's. However, I am certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in opposite directions, our destination is still the same. Why, you may ask? Because both paths lead to the one and only truth. Yep. That's a cool CG. That's a cool CG. Yeah, you know what Kay did? Kay danced around and made fun of Simon for five minutes while we tried to figure <laughs> out that true. evidence. She bought, she bought 20 seconds of time. The end. The end. The end to an amazing case and an amazing game. Dang. I feel like we need more. I know that sounds weird. Really? I feel like everything in this game got wrapped up so everything well. Everything wrapped up, but I'm like, I feel like I need more happening. So we have Edgeworth, Edgeworth Scotty, Courtney, Courtney, Gregory... K, K and Sebastian, I mean, obviously, because it it's the best case. I knew it was Sebastian because he's holding the Wind Waker. Yeah. Out loud, but it might seem weird that Sebastian's on the last page because since he was only in like half the case. But I think it's actually no. Very it fitting. makes total sense because the entire case affects him, and it wouldn't make any sense to put like Simon Keys on the case. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> You're like, why? Well, you could have put like Lane. Because that definitely... They could have put Lane. They also could have put, um... Uh... Gumshoe, maybe? Well, no, not, not really not Gumshoe. Gumshoe. They could have put John Marsh. He would be a weird character they to put They could have put the on. president on. <laughs> Just flipping people off. All right. I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. We will do a bonus episode later where Marty and I will talk about our thoughts yeah. about the game. Like, final thoughts. Which sounds I fun. especially want to hear Marty of yeah. spots. Because... People already know this is my favorite game in the series, and I'll this talk. Is your I'll, favorite game in the series. In the series, and I'll talk more about that when we actually do the episode. So look forward to that. We're, we're gonna record that like uh, later. Okay. Just I'll, I'll let just kind of the whole game sit with you for a little bit before you can give your final opinion. Essentially. Yeah. So thank you all so much for joining us in this journey. Tune in for that next episode to hear our final thoughts. And I thought this was gonna be the last Ace Attorney game that we were able to let's play. We could potentially play more. So there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a way that we may be able to get a couple games that are normally on the 3DS. Because they're uh, on the Google played. Play Store. They're or on the Google Play Store. Or in the Microsoft Store, one of the others. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have it's a great possible. day and God bless.